how do you win games with beasts and hearthstone battlegrounds i'll show you how to play the early mid and late game how to transition and all the other little details that you'll need to know in order to pilot this build beasts have been buffed changed and nerfed many times mainly because they're a composition that spikes meaning it doesn't gradually grow like a caligals or lightning bolt they either get super strong because they hit a good unit or they die fast when they don't find it this means that beast is often a composition you stumble into instead of force and one that's very easy for transitions so let's begin with the early game some of the best units they have to offer are pack leader and sarlisk both on tier 2 hyena is a decent one star unit but don't get baited by it too much sarlisk can help you scale early on and can become a real house once they're tripled pack leaders are a really good tempo if you can roll an infested wolf or a red pack on tier 3 but because you get most value from their death rattles you'll have to position properly make sure you have board space and value a good taunt so pack leader doesn't get sniped too easily because it always will <laughs> unless it's my opponent for the mid game beasts have a lot of good tempo options actually some of the best in the game high main is one of the best early four star units and a hydra or macaw can fit into multiple compositions and then you have the one and only the beast <laughs> Who am I kidding? Only if you hit an early maw bear you'll be able to fully pursue beasts in the mid game. You'll be able to pump out stats unlike any other build and pair gaming will become extra valuable as your triple will get 3 times the maw bear buff. On top of that you will need triples to advance your board late game. And when we arrive in the late game there's actually multiple ways you can go from here. The strongest and easiest option is Goldrin. Either triple into it or use your tempo to level to tier 6. By getting a Goldrin all you have to do is roll more macaws, a baron and a good taunt. Every triple you get will almost double the size of your board, making scaling super simple. Just roll good units. If you never find a Goldrin, then relying on Mama Bear is your second best option. Usually, this doesn't grant you a first place, but it can easily skim a top 2 if you're able to get enough death rattle value and triple to increase your stats. And Coiler into Double Boat also kinda helps. Positioning and taunting is key here. If you do happen to fight a Baron and a Macaw but no Goldrin, you can just use a Selfless Hero. The shields could be pretty good late game, especially if you find find some poison to throw in there. In rare cases you could still even switch to Menagerie if you find a Bran, Amalgadon or other opportunities to grow your board like Lilvrag. So all in all beasts are very hit or miss. If you hit the good pieces take them and make use of the tempo to either level up transition or commit depending on what Bob has to offer. Make sure you put the time into your positioning and that you taunt the right units. I hope this guide was helpful, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like these and leave suggestions down below for what you want to see in the future. I'm going to close out this video with a little example game that I had on stream to show how you put all of this into practice. Yeah, let's just go with token start then I guess. But I kind of wanted to roll here. I'm also going to pair game this guy because it's a better pair than this guy. Pair. I could play it now and roll, but I think we just tear power it and get the mummy. There's our triple. Um, I mean, it's always a hero power. And then we can just use this, roll, and buy something better. And our triple. But I don't want to buy it, because then we get it next turn. I guess Gerber would be insane, right? Pirates are in. I think you got this. This is pretty insane on this board. And freeze. It was just because pirates are in, like getting a golden token super early, like a Gerber on turn 5, like 7 gold with 2 goldens, actually 3 goldens because we get the micro mummy as well. It's insane. It's actually just insane. So that's why you could consider your powering there, and then we get the triple mummy next turn, right? If that's Gerber, like. Right? What is wrong with me? Why is my brain not working right now? Um. I'll do it like this. We level here, get our triple. Next turn we level again, get a triple. Bran? Oh nice, we got the Bran. I guess Mom Bear is, is interesting because we got a beast in the shop that we can hear power. I think it's Bran though. We got a good menagerie setup, a good mech. We got Golden Murloc. I think it's Bran. It's rather greedy, I want to say, but. We know I'm the greed monster, right? Ah, where's my Mom Bear? Fuck. Old people's song. I mean, it's true. Dude, I should have taken a Mama Bear. Fucking Pepega. 
Nah, it has to be gold and it just gets strong here. We're not gonna hear a power down, but I think that's okay. A good tactical choice. This board is so weird, but I think it's weird in a good way. I kinda wanna level, but I know that's wrong, so I'm not gonna do it. There's no me, there's a Pepegal. No. Okay, I'm beast. Fuck this, man. <laughs> I mean, I could still go Menagerie, but I mean, Baron Goldrin? You also got so oh, I don't know anymore. Baron Ginny? I'm not gonna do that, I think. Something like this, right? And just go out of one of the pairs, I think that's okay. No! Come on! The golden has to die one time! Are you fucking kidding me, dude? One time! It's my only stats! Fucking... Morons! I could've won this so easily. <laughs> oh my god. I could taunt it, but then we can't do my car stuff, and we seem like a macabre build right now. How's it going out there? I don't think you're level, we got a golden already, we just want macabre. Easy. I could use a taunt. The brand comes out now, I think. Or maybe the murloc? The brand is still okay, like you get the haunt monster next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna hear power the pirate. I'm just gonna go for money here. Could also, I guess we could hear power a bear, but I don't care. I should hear power. Yeah, okay. I mean, I didn't know I was gonna roll that. It's safer to hear power the money, but I guess hear power bear is sweet. Okay. Now we should be should have stabilized someone. These fucking guys with their deflectobots. I mean, I'm huge though. Get out. <laughs> we killed Jazzy. Good I'm actually gonna buy it because we could triple the this turn, right? We, uh, we don't really need to play the Hound Master, like we got a Divine Shield Taunt already, that's good enough. And a buffs our board. Does he have Cleave? He could. I guess I could play around it like this. Maybe like this. How do I play best around Cleave? Do I care if he cleaves my Baron? I get plus 10 plus 10. If he cleaves this, I lose out on a big boy. So I think I do this. This might not get value then, but I think it's okay. I don't want to put gold in the back, because then if he puts Cleave first, we lose out on so much value. Doing yeah, you could also consider putting Hydra in the back, but I think I'd rather have Hydra value than um, Dire Horn value, right? He doesn't have it anyway, so we're fine. This guy's trying to be... Trying to... He's, he's an interesting board, like he has Baron, Spawn, Golden Egg, he also has Mama Bear, Double, Dire Horn, Coiler? I guess respectable. It gets the Baron value, right? Yeah. Oh god, he got a Goldrin. What? He got like only 5 and 6 stars on a guess of egg? That's the most insane coiler I've seen in like a while. I don't think it's gonna be good enough though. But still, that's um that's pretty sick, man. Ah, he's dead. Uh so we should level, right? Should we? No. I'm looking for triple Baron, triple Macaw. If I level, all I can find is more Goldens, which I don't really need right now. We can just triple and get twice as strong, double the side for our board. Like, if we had a, another Macaw, we get twice as strong. If we had another Baron, we get twice? Not quite twice, but 
No, no, even... No, yeah, more. So I'll just roll on tier 5. Honestly, this is not even worth the hero power. Because if I roll the pair, I will have to keep this around. I don't want that. I might just um, find a Macaw, yeah. And then we replace this anyway, so then it became useless. So if I find Macaw, like, we're not gonna keep this around. We wanna sell this, and then I hero powered it for nothing. <laughs> there it is again. We could roll more, but what's the point? We'll just get the beast. So he probably has cleave. I'll uh, I'll offer a hydra. We should, yeah, now we should move the golden and the, the hydra. I think now it's time to um, move them. If I attack first, I think we're fine. Mm, that's unlucky. No, we're not. That net still dies, so it doesn't matter. No, no, that's fine. Even if we attack first, it died by one HP. I wonder if it was ever better to um, position. Okay, so cleave. Okay, we got rewarded for cleave positioning. I mean, it was very specific though, because we killed a stunt and then this could go down the middle of his board. There was no way for me to know that. But is this cleave gonna go off again? I think so, right? Yeah, but we still beat him. Okay, okay. We're gonna beat him late game. He's just still relying on here power value. While well, if we just hit a triple, we're super strong. Oh shit! Wait. Oh, he did lose to him though. It's just against a dead person. Okay, okay. So do we level now? I still don't think so. We still got like this pair, this pair. I don't think we really want to triple this. I don't care about here power or anything here. I'm actually just gonna roll because we do have yeah, we do have the extra money. We could sell our taunt now, because we do have uh, this boy. Fuck, is it even worth it, sell taunts? Fuck, is it even worth it? Yeah. Shit, no, I was not worth it. Fuck, I was, uh, I was thinking so long. I, I, I think the Vinyl Taunt was better, but I wanted my goal on my call. I didn't want to freeze. Which might be wrong? I don't know for sure. Because this plus my board's so much bigger now. Look, his, uh, his Maxima just instantly dies. It does have Reborn on it, which is pretty bad. Fuck! So fine, though, right? Let's hope Macaw attacks again, that would be huge. If Macaw just... Yeah, it always gets to attack again. Okay, nice. So we always beat him. Yeah, I could just win this round. I don't know. I got stronger this round though, that's for sure. We just played with one less beast, so... But I knew he didn't have Goldrin. Like, he was not a Golden board last time we faced him. I know he was like Death Rattle Beast, so... Um... I knew that having Golden Macaw instead of a normal Macaw might have mattered, because then we just save ourselves one attack. We played one less beast, but we got like this thing. So now we level. Oh wait, I haven't faced Reno yet, have I? I actually don't really know what he is playing to be honest. I, I could have stayed, only argument is Baron, but I guess Golden is nice. So I actually don't know what he is, right? I haven't faced him. He's beating like oh, so much, like, he's doing so much damage though. And we don't have the nuts yet, we need a golden baron for the nuts and like um, a second or like a golden gold ring. Yeah, second place with beast is fine. I'm happy with uh, with second. Especially like it's a beast build without a mama bear. Usually you go mama bear at first and then you like slowly buff up your board, hit triples and then you transition into gold ring. But we hit gold ring first with a hydra and then with baron so... I'm still gonna position like this now because he could be insanely big meaning gold ring might actually die. Uh, if it trades, so I'm gonna put Golden still in front of my Hydras. <laughs> oh, that's a big boy! <laughs> I'm fucked. Yeah, I don't beat this. Golden Brand. That's a cool build, though. Like, Golden Brand boards are nice. 
Respect. Alright, I'm gonna take my second, I'm gonna be happy. Right? Yup.